Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today. And this one has come to me from the lovely people at OneDaySaving.com. Um, they asked me if I would like some products to show on my channel. I said, yes, of course. Uh, I've loved everything that I've had in the past. I did show recently on one of my videos, uh, one of my very first items that I received from uh, One Day Saving. Oh, a couple of years ago now. And uh, yeah, this was an actual big full canvas. And I cut it out into a circle rather than leaving it as a square and I mounted it onto foam board and it is a clock so yeah and it does still work and everything that's to say one of the first ones that I did right. uh, unboxing videos and uh, the making of this clock in uh, my playlist so if you check out one day saving uh, in my playlist and you will be able to see a bit more detail on that I have just recently done a video on putting foam board onto the back of canvases so I thought seeing as I've got this one down off the wall I will just show you it again because it is one of my favourites and uh, yeah I love it absolutely gorgeous okay right so let us see what we got this time uh, don't forget to go and check out the website there are quite a few special offers on at the moment and um, I do have uh, my own discount code with one day saving they have kindly given us um five percent off so if when you go to check out uh, if you put Liz 5 off into the little box, then you will get 5% off your order, which is great. And thank you very much to them. It's not an affiliate code or anything. Um, it is just um, like a thank you to you for shopping with them. And thank you from me for coming along and watching my videos. So, yay, we always like money off. And at the moment, there is free shipping if you spend over $50. And if you do spend that $50, you get toll free gifts. And then if you spend $100, you get four free gifts. Yay! So we like free. And free shipping as well. That's even better. So great. Do go and check out those offers. Obviously, if you're watching this at a future date, uh, do double check what offers are still available because the offers do change from time to time. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. Oh, little face there. Oh, another little face there. Oh, that could have been... Um, oh, let me just put those separate just... You'll see why in a bit. <laughs> that was quite a risky move on my part. Right, and we have a special project. So let's have a look at this one first. This is something new that uh, I've only just seen. that just seems to have come out. So look at these. These are a six-piece diamond painting. Now, I think they were set as like key rings or hangers but you could also use them as bookmarks as well but i just liked the colors and the fact that they have got little butterflies on so let's have a closer look because i've got all the packet glaring at you there and you can't see what i'm talking about can you <laughs> nobody said i was professional at this <laughs> okay so we have our standard pen boat wax oh and we've got some little grip seal bags in there as well so that's always handy Right, put those down there a second. So we have these like little um, hangers or little key charms. So like a bag charm, I suppose, really. And they've got these gorgeous diamonds on, which have got an iridescent coating on them as well. They've got all, I think they have. Yeah, they have because they've got facets on, but we are getting lots of different colours in that. So yeah, they're a little bit iridescent there. And these like little string ones, little cord ones. And just literally, once you've done your project, you just thread it through this little teeny tiny hole, which I don't think I'm going to get that through there without using my tweezers. Let's see if I can do it. No, I'm going to need my tweezers. Uh, and then you have to fold it back on itself. So you just literally put it through itself and it will just then literally tie onto your feather. I'll get my tweezers out in a second and we'll have a look. But actually, these are really nice. They're quite bendable as well and quite slim. Um, I would think possibly one to two millimetres thick. Uh, yeah, you can see it practically disappears. Do you remember that saying? What was it? Um, when you used to have somebody that was really, really slim, they'd turn sideways and you mark them absent. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, sorry. Uh, yeah, school days coming back to haunt me. 
Right, so let's have a look at these. Uh, gorgeous, they're like an arrow with a feather and then a butterfly in the middle. I have had some similar before that were like feathers and then I've had some that were like arrows with all decoration on. But I like these that are like the combination with the butterfly and the feather and the arrow. So very pretty. But yeah, I see you could use them as bookmarks, um, as decoration. You could turn them into a mobile. But they are very light as well. So, you know, they're very nice colour catchers as well. Hang them all up in the window. So we've got this lemony and blue one. And then we've got another sort of variation on uh, a green and lemon and blue. So are we going to go down in colour then? Oh, these would be quite good. And then, oh, we've got a pink. Oh, hang on, there's a blue one there. Oh, look at that one. That's rainbow colours. So that one, actually, the butterflies going the other way. Ooh. Oh, OK. So that one's got the butterfly going um, like portrait style and they're like horizontal style, aren't they? So, mm. OK, so that's a very colourful butterfly. Ah, right. Oh, I see. We've got three going one way and three going the other. So then we've got a pink and white and blue. Oh, and it's got a bit of purple on it as well uh, going that way. So that's those three. Very pretty, liking these. See, so they're very slim and very light. And my brain's going overloaded now as to what you could actually do with these. Certainly the hanging down ones, I think, would look really, really nice hanging down. Um, if you get like a piece of wire or um, a little bit of co old coat hanger or something like that, if you've got the wire coat hangers, and have them dangling. Mm, actually, no, they're going to dangle that way, aren't they? So the butterflies are going to be upside down. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> oh, I might have to put a hole in the other end of these. Um, I've got one of those really good, uh, it's called a cropper dial, um, and it puts punches holes into things, and I think I might use that. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we get them done, what we're actually going to do with them. That one's really pretty. So that one's uh, pink, blue and white, but that's more pastels. So we've seen that one. That one's really uh, bright colours with deeper colours. And then this one's pastely again with more purple on it. So, yeah, but I think they're really pretty, really just something a little bit different. I don't like to try different things. So, OK. Right. Let me grab my dirt measure. In my newly tidied out drawer, so I know where it is. But of course, you only know where it is if you put it back where you got it from. And that's going to be the uh, difficult bit with this. So the actual length of them is about seven and a half uh, inches, which is 19 centimetres. So, yeah, they, they would make good bookmarks. But I'm just thinking as well, you know, bag charms, because it's so light and it is quite flexible. So, you know, it's not really rigid to snap easily. Um, I think this would be quite nice on a bag charm. Maybe actually add a couple of beads or something on the top as well. You are going to have a little gem there, a little diamond that dangles as well. But you could always add, say, a couple of little beads onto it or a feather or a little fluffy pom-pom or something and just make a little bag charms. The price of these was £6, so they're working out at a pound each, which, again, if you're wanting to sell them at craft fairs or whatever, then, uh, yeah, I would think you'd get a couple of pounds for one of those. And they're just like little pocket money things that people will pick up and buy. You know, you can do your more expensive things on your stalls, but these are sort of the things that draw people in. They're shiny and everything, and I think people would really like these. Mmm, liking those. Right, let me grab my tweezers as well. My lovely a pink sparkly tweezers look hot pink. They're sent to me by the lovely a Chris. So let's put, see if we can get this through this hole. And uh, yeah, just with my tweezers. Just poke that through. So I, I don't like saying, oh, this is how you do it. And then actually showing you how it works. Because otherwise, you know, you're like, oh, well, yeah, it might not work. You won't show, does it? <laughs> I always like to have a go and have a play. So, yep, yeah, just goes through the little hole and just fastens at the top. And you just get a little dangler. <laughs> Excellent. OK, yeah, I think they are more bookmarks, I suppose. But I say you could attach it to a bag as a bag charm or a key ring or anything like that. I mean, if you put your keys on one of those, that would be a bit easier to find in your handbag. And it's still quite light as well. So you're not adding loads and loads of weight to your bag. Um, but it's making it big enough to find your keys. 
maybe just me then uh whenever i put keys in a handbag they're always at the bottom doesn't matter where i put them they always end up at the bottom and the last thing i come across when i'm looking so there you are <laughs> right let me put my uh end back on my tweezers so i don't end up uh, skewering myself right let's have a look at these gems so they are all crystals okay so let's see what we've got oh specials so it's 18 19 20 different colors gems and colors wow excellent so there's going to be lots of different sparkles right so we have a lovely limey green and an aqua blue and a deep purple and another pale lime green and your standard 310 black and a lovely sea blue and then sort of in between a, a blue and an aqua blue isn't it it's just a, a little bit lighter in colour and then a pale blue and a honey gold and we've got a nice amber there and we've got a hot pink oh and we've got another hot pink two hot pinks in one pack oh yes it's a Liz and then a paler pink and then that's just nearly a hot pink but not quite so look at that variation on your pinks wow oh it's definitely a pink day and then we've got this lovely bright red and a dark red and lots of very very clear silver i love it when the silvers are clear just makes them easier to pick up i think when they're nice and clear and clean okay so number 20 we have our uh, rounds with the stars stamped into them we've had those before very pretty oh what are these oh look teeny tiny marquees with an iridescent coating on and then a teeny tiny marquees in the aqua blue so wow okay so it looks as though then yeah number 20 is uh, all of these rounds that you can see uh, apart from that one that one only has one on it how strange i've just decided to put a slightly different gem on that one rather than the round one in the middle um it's actually just got like a little marquee with some gems around it so yeah they're all the same but slightly different <laughs> if you get my meaning yeah they are just uh, a single sided one but uh, if they were double sided and you are using them as a bookmark you don't want like the double thickness of the gems um on something going in a book you do need it that little bit thinner right let me get these put away and we'll have a look at the next one okay so this one's practically coming out already so let's have a look at this one uh, it's a 30 by 30 special drill and the price of this one was just four pounds yay and when you see the other one you'll see why i said oh dear ordering both of them together <laughs> it's just me uh, pen boat and wax you stay in a little toolkit uh, we're all a crystals and special drills. Oh, and I've just spotted a hot pink. Yes, it's a definite Liz day. Okay, it is six, seven, eight, nine different gems and colours. Quite a quick one to do. And it just made me laugh. I just thought it was so funny when I saw it. It's just, I know, don't tell Millie I've got another cat. <laughs> Millie's our little Scotty dog, um, if you're new to uh, the channel. Hello, thank you for coming along. Hope you'll stay with us and subscribe. And if you're coming back, hi, thank you for coming back again. So, yeah, I just it just so made me laugh. Just this little cat coming out going, whoa. <laughs> uh, do you think it's playing peekaboo? Do you think it's got like a little cape on it and it's going, peekaboo? Or do you think somebody's just dumped this cape on it and it's going, what are you doing? Why have you put this on me? <laughs> but is that just not the funniest shocked looking cat you've ever seen? Well, actually, it's only little, isn't it? And fluffy. I think this is probably a kitten. But I just saw oh, it's so cute. I've got to get that. So gorgeous. And we've just got a couple of little butterflies flying as well. So it looks like we've got a plant behind there. Um, so yeah I did think at first that she was coming through the plants but possibly she's not I do think this is a cape because she's got her ears through it look and it's got like a little hat on it so maybe she thinks she's invisible maybe she thinks it's an invisibility cloak and uh, somebody's just said oh hello how are you and she said what you can see me <laughs> Possibly. 
Okay, so this one is, I say, 30 by 30. My tape measure's there look, looking at me and I'm still lifting things up looking to see where it is. Tell you, I've got a goldfish brain. Right, uh, the actual picture size is 24 centimetres and nine, just under nine and a half inches. So it's a slightly smaller picture, but it will still go in your magnetic frames if you use those. Um, you can, of course, cover over your little key code and everything if you want to, paint over it, or use washi tape, or those border tapes are really, really good if you use those. And uh, yeah, you could do that. Or as I say, um, you can cut it out and pop it into a frame. But I just, I couldn't resist it. It just really, really made me laugh. A little white fluffy cat. But yeah, that expression is excellent. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the gems. And for £4, I mean, you can't even buy a coffee and a bun for £4. Okay, so let's have a look at these. It is quite a quick one to do as well. It is a partial, so none of the background has any gems on it at all. It is just literally our little puss cat here and a little cloak and the little butterflies. Yay! Look at the little ears as well. Oh, it is so cute. Right, so... Ooh! Now then, I was thinking she was going to be, like, green, but actually she's this gorgeous, like... I don't know, what's that like a deep, is it like an emerald green? It's like a greeny blue colour. That is absolutely gorgeous. So the main colour is going to be that. And then number two. So the little Kit Kat, actually, she's not silver or white. She's like this sort of um, fawny colour. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, and then she's got a hot pink bow on her. Oh, we've got to have a hot pink. And then this little bit of blue on the butterfly and a little bit of green on the leaves and a little bit of honey gold on the other butterfly over there. And then, oh, look, so are they A's? Oh, the paw pads are going to be little flowers. Oh, that'll be cute because it'll make it look like she's got um, little wrinkles on her paw pads and her ears as well. So she's going to have flowers in her ears and her paw pads. Oh, and then we've got the marquees in green, which are just going on the cape to highlight it and like a flower shape at the top there. And then we've got, oh, look at those. Hot pink with an iridescent coating on. Ooh, they're different. And they're going to go on the bow. Oh, she's so pretty. But it's just that expression. I just love that expression. She's either shocked or going boo. I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> Although when you see the next canvas, you might realise why. <laughs> All right, let me pop these away. So, can you guess what this one is? It's a dog. Yay! <laughs> How brave am I ordering a cat and a dog in the same order and expecting them not to fight in the packets? <laughs> They've been well behaved, but possibly the little cat's looking so shocked because she's realised she's in a bag with a dog. <laughs> oh dear, my, my imagination will get me into trouble one day. Right, another pen boat and wax. Pop those on one side. And again, another special drill. There are quite a few of these, actually. Uh, various different dogs. This one's a little bit sort of cockapoo-ish, I think. Um, sort of generic style dog. Um, yeah, I think there was pugs and all sorts. If you check them out, I'll find a picture and pop it in as well. Um, so, yeah, there is quite a few of them. But there wasn't a Scotty dog. So I thought, well, I'll just get a general dog then. We'll just get a general style one. But they literally are covered in gems and all different colours and all different patterns. So they're very different, very unique looking. And that's uh, something a little bit... Uh, more involved to try because as you can see although it is a partial so there's nothing in the background there is an awful lot of that dog covered there isn't there there is an awful lot on it and guess what i've just found underneath <laughs> thank you one day saving for sending me your rubbish <laughs> do i seem to get one in every packet these days i don't know what are they like <laughs> 
it's static on them, I should think, and it's the speed at which they go, ripping the little things off and putting them away, packing them all up, and they're just getting stuck to the backs of the canvases, I think. So. <laughs> That's why you're looking shocked. I've got that extra bit of plastic. But yeah, this is just so much fun. And actually, they would make quite a nice little set, wouldn't they, on a the wall, if you like cats and dogs. Um, I know some people are cat, camp cats and some people are camp dog. I'm both, but I do only have a dog because Hubby's a little bit allergic to cats. Or he was. I do keep thinking I might have to try him because he doesn't really have asthma anymore. Um, he seems to have, well, I won't say grown out of it because, I mean, he was a grown man when I met him. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to be... Uh, quite as so bad at all with asthma anymore so i'm wondering if he would still be uh have a reaction to a cat i might just have to try him because i'd love to get one and uh, i'm no millie would love one <laughs> for various different reasons yeah it could be all out war but you never know anyway so this one is eight nine ten eleven different gems and colors we are a 30 by 30 full canvas so let's see what size our little picture bit is and this one is a 24 as well so they are like a little bit of a set you know you've got your lovely bright colors in these as well or you could get a set of a few of the dogs um you know and put them on the wall if you like dogs if you've got a grooming salon um or if you've got a vets or anything like that and you have a lot of animals coming in or a kennels then uh, yeah they'd just be really nice and bright and uh, cheerful to put up on the walls wouldn't they yeah look at that little nose and mouth so yeah, like the little puss cat, uh, none of the nose, mouth and eyes have got any gems on. It is just sort of the fluffy bits. And then we've just got this gorgeous pink flower over here as well. I wonder if it'll be hot pink. Guesses, please. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. So we'll start at this end. So we have, look at that bright orange. Wow, that's gorgeous. Not seeing that since Halloween. And then, mm, is it a hot pink? It's more of a magenta, but I'll call hot pink. Yeah, I'm going to call hot pink. <laughs> Things do look different on camera, actually, to what they do in real life. That looks really hot pink on camera, but actually it is more of a magenta colour. And then we've got a lovely blue and a very deep purple and a limey green again and a lemony gold. And a little bit paler lemon gold. So I think the dog's going to be mainly that colour with the other colours thrown in. We've got a little bit of a bronzy colour. And then, oh, we've not had those before. So we've got lemon, um, like little rounds with a star stamped into them. We've got uh, purple marquees with an iridescent coating on. And then we've got some gold marquees. Lovely honey rich gold with iridescent coating on. Okay. So, where do the little lemon ones go then? They are the letter A. Okay, so where are the A's? Oh, no, that's a number four, C, B. Just talk amongst yourselves while I have a look for A. Oh, and after all that, they're just along there, look. I am looking absolutely everywhere and then there's this great big line right in front of me across his little chest there, look. <laughs> Right under my nose, right there. So, yeah, so we're just going to have that little lemon streak down there. Ooh, very nice. And then these ones are B and C. So they're going to make up the flowers that are all over around here. So very pretty, very nice. Uh, good choices, I do believe. Yay! It was a risk, though, getting a cat and a dog in the same packet. You never know. They could have arrived. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I suppose they were separated by the packets where they were, they were well caged, as it were. <laughs> OK, well, huge thank you, One Day Saving, for sending me these. Absolutely love them. They are just so bright and colourful and cheerful, even though the cat does look so shocked. <laughs> I just can't stop looking at it and wanting to laugh. It's brilliant. That will definitely be going on the wall, even though it is a cat, because it just is going to make me laugh. <laughs> So we started off with our lovely butterfly bookmarks, come keychains, come whatever you want them to be. Um, I don't quite think I might have to make a mobile or something out of them because they are so different. Mm. And then we've had our lovely little puppy with a big smile on his face. Look at those little eyes, melting those eyes. And then our little shocked kitty. 
<laughs> okay that's a huge thank you one day saving uh, i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up it's always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay don't forget that list for 05 off as well for your five percent discount okay thanks for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now